请新南洋洲家电制造协会会长 Gabriela Lopez 女士介绍新南洋洲家电行业的情况。A continuación invitamos a gerente general de Cluster de Electrodomésticos, señora Yolanda Cecilia Gabriela Lopez, quien va a introducir las situaciones de la industria de electrodomésticos en Nuevo León. Thank you. Thank you for having me. This is my first time in China. I'm very happy to be here and see all of you at this seminar. 非常高兴见到大家，这是我第一次来到中国，非常的激动。When I was invited here, um, the goal of my presence is to explain you all the business opportunities that we have as a home appliances industry in Mexico. 那么我受到邀请来到这里，就是想借此机会介绍一下新南洋家电制造协会。I represent the home appliances industry in Nuevo León, but I'm going to explain you how important is this industry not only in my state, but also in all Mexico. 那么我介绍一下我们家电制造协会，也介绍一下这个协会不仅制造对我们州非常重，也是对整个中国也是很重要。So first of all, what we consider a home appliance? 那么首先我们有我们家电制造协会。All as a cluster, as a cluster that we gather the manufacturers, the supplier, the universities, and also the government. What we consider a home appliance is uh, major appliances, small appliances, air conditioning, and also consumer electronics. 那么在我们这里的工业集群中，不仅有工业供应商、制造商，也有我们政府的参与，提供各种大小家电，如图所示。And what about the home appliances in the world? Well, uh, the consumption has grown exponentially very fast in the last few days, last few years. As you can see uh, in this graph, in 2000, in 2013, there, there were manufactured 580 million units, and now we expect by 2020 that we are going to have. Uh, 588 million units, uh, I mean, that's uh, 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 dollars, but this is how has grown the uh, units production in the world, and we expect that it's going to be increased because the consumption of home appliances depends on the growth of the population and the economy. So, we can see this graph. In the past few years, the world's electronics industry has grown very quickly. 在二零一六年，我们整体的家电业单件已经销售达到了五千，呃，五亿件。那么我们预计在二零二零年会达到五点八亿件。所以这也是我们看到整体世界人口的增长和经济的发展所驱使的一个增长。We have had a five percent annual rate. Per year, and we expect that that is going to be continued in the following years. 那我们看到我们拉美整体的家电消费增长百分之四，那么我们预计它的增长会更加高。So specifically, the consumption, your your region is the the, the place where more most of the home appliances are consumed because of the amount of population that lives here. So you can see the Asia Pacific consumes the forty six percent of all the manufacturer. Uh, home appliances that in the world, and of course the second place is uh, European Union, and the third place is North America. 那么根据这个图表，我们能看到家电消费是根据当地的人口来决定的。亚太地区百分之五十四，第二名是我们的欧盟百分之十八，第三名就是我们的北美百分之十七。And then, uh, what about the production? One thing is the consumption, but where are they come, those home appliances are coming from? And from this graph, you can see what you produce in this region is for all consumption, because more than half of the production of home appliances in the world comes from China. 那么我们能够看到这些家电的来源是在于哪里？那么大多数是来自于亚太地区，那么中国是主要的一个来源国。If any of you have any question, you can just raise your hand and you can make me a question.
question, okay? You can interrupt me anytime you want. 如果大家在我的演讲中途有任何的问题，嗯，随时举手，没有关系。So who are the major players in the industry? Who is the most important manufacturer? 那么谁是最重要的这个行业中的制造者呢？ This is a graph I, uh, information I prepared in major goods, which is the largest amount of money that is invested. We, these are the, the main companies globally. 那么我们在主要的产品就左边这一列挑出了主要在我们那边投资的公司的名字。The second place is air conditioning uh, after uh, major goods, white goods, and these are the major players in the world. 那么我们能看到，第一名是惠尔普，第二名是伊莱克斯，他们本身在世界也是非常强大的家电制造公司。The companies that are in red, those companies have presence, manufacturing presence in Mexico. 那么这些公司是实地在墨西哥进行投资制造的。And what is important into Mexico of this industry? 那么。墨西哥的进口方面情况。This is a graph I prepared that comes from from Harvard. 这是一张来自于哈佛大学的图表。Is to show you the importance of the electrical and electronic industry in Mexico. So the blue part is the electrical electronic industry that the imports that come into Mexico. 那么这张图表显示了在电力和电动方面。制造行业的一个重要性。那么蓝色区域显示的是墨西哥进口方面的电力电机的情况。For example,、uh, in 2014, 1.55 billion dollars were imported of electrical transformers. 那么，比如说，在二零一四年，达到了十五亿美元的电力变压机进嗯进行了进口。This is just a small portion of all this information that I'm showing you. 那么这是我进行过挑选的一些主要信息，希望呈现给大家。Other opportunities are plastic, vehicles, oil, other materials. 那么所以在墨西哥注重发展的是塑料、汽车行业、OL 和原材料。Then and the another information that I wanted to show you is the exportations to Mexico from China specifically. 那么，所以这张表格显示的是中国的电机电动的出口到墨西哥的情况。So in here you can see just a small, a small portion of all these are the electrical, electronic integrated circuits, the circuits that go in, in many. Home appliances and other products, and also the electrical transformers. 那么能看到这些信息，百分之六的光电子集成电路和百分之四的电力变压器的进口。This information is going to be available for you, and if you have、uh, one more detail, you can contact me later. 那么这只是一个大概信息，如果想知道更清楚的信息，大家之后可以和我沟通。So the、um, Mexican home appliances in exportation. Why this industry is important in Nuevo Leon? In this, in this information you can see. 那么从这些信息中可以看到，为什么新南洋州的家电行业如此的重要。The number one position of exportation in Mexico. What we export to the world. We are number one. 那么，在墨西哥进行所有产业出口方面，家电行业是第一名。In refrigerators with a separate freezer, the double door refrigerator that has separate the freezer and the freezer is separate. It's a big appliance. This is the number one. 那么，在家电行业出口中，第一名的就是冷藏冷冻箱是分开的那种。Also, we have the third place globally. For the exportation of air conditioning. 那么看到第三名是我们的空调。Other important places in the world are、uh, for Mexico to export it and washing machines, refrigerators with compressor that was that when the 
door is inside the refrigerator and also uh, stoves. 那么在其他这种排名非常高的，也有我们的洗衣机、压缩式制冷机和煤气灶。Why we have this place? Specifically, but because all these products are exported mainly to the United States. 那么我们在家电行业如此发展，主要原因也是因为我们产品主要是出口到美国。These products are big. Are home appliances that have to be manufactured near their client. So these products, because they are very big, are basically sold in our factory and are then exported. So that's why many of the companies wish their suppliers to be close. So that's why many of the companies wish their suppliers to be close. So that's why many of the companies wish their suppliers to be close. So that's why many of the companies wish their suppliers to be close. Manufacturers of home appliances in Mexico. 那么这张图显示了在我们墨西哥各大家电公司的一个地址。The biggest ones are in this region. 那么最大的是在刚才我闪的这个区域。Which is the northeast part of Mexico. 那么这是在墨西哥的东北部。The red one is Nuevo León. 那么这个红色区域就是我们新来昂州。The companies that we have in Nuevo León manufacturing are examples are Whirlpool, Carrier, Train, LG, Hosman, Panasonic. 那么大家能看到在这里有 Panasonic, LG, Carrier 和惠尔普等大公司。Very close by to Nuevo León is Mave. 那么非常接近新郎州是橘色区域，有 Mabe 这个公司。And another important uh, uh, player in the industry is Electrolux. 那么伊莱克斯也是非常重要的公司。This is how the growth of the Mexican production for the last years. You can see how has grown from 2014 to 2015. 那么这张图表显示了在过去十年左右，墨西哥家电的生产量增长非常的大。We have an annual average growth of eight percent per year. 我们年增长率达到百分之八。This growth has been like that so importantly because every time there's a recession or a devaluation, we have more production in Mexico. 那么。这非常重要，因为每一次我们进行不断的发展和推介会之后，在这方面的生产就会越来越多。Many of the the、uh, manufacturers take advantage of the exchange rate and our、uh, global position with、uh, free trade agreements and and also our logistics、uh, advantages. 那么很多制造商都看中了我们在地理方面。以及在生产方面的行业地位，也看中了我们自由贸易协定以及非常棒的物流服务。This is the growth of the exportations in、uh, of of Mexico from 2014 to 2015. It has been an important growth. 那么图表中看到，二零零四年开始到二零一五年，墨西哥家电出口的增长。The average growth has been per year 13 percent. 每年平均增长率达到百分之十三。This happens because of new companies that come to manufacture and new production lines that are made. 那么这是因为有新的公司来到我们墨西哥进行制造，也投入了新的生产线。Todos están muy serios. You are very serious. And room. Any questions? You can make questions. 大家好严肃啊！有没有什么问题 ？I don't mind. Yeah. Then this is a misspelling. This is the production by state. Why there is a cluster in Nuevo León? Because our state manufactures the 41 percent of the home appliances in Mexico. 那么这显示了在墨西哥各个州一个家电生产的一个分布。大家看到新南昂州达到了百分之四十一，这是因为我们有极大的家电工业集群。So the companies that are located in Nuevo León 
are the ones that have the largest production in Mexico. 那么在新南洲做了的家电产业公司具有最大的家电生产能力 Now a little bit more about the our cluster 那么最后说一下我们工业集群 Right now we have more than 50 members 50 companies Yeah, 现在我们有50多家成员公司 You can see in this film this slide that uh, we have uh, uh, manufacturers like Mave, we have uh, uh, Whirlpool, we have Carrier Train, but also their suppliers. We integrate the manufacturing value chain. And um, for me, uh, part of, of coming here is to invite you to come to Mexico, to come to Nuevo León, to get to know all these companies personally. We are going to have an event the 12th of September in, in Monterey. So you can come and meet directly these companies and get to know the business opportunities that they can have for you. All these, those, all these companies want their supplier to be close by. Most of them make deliveries four times per day. So it's important to manufacture uh, your, your product close to your client. For logistics, for cost, for client services. What are these companies looking for? These are the products that they are looking for. The biggest opportunity economically are compressors. But also you can see some uh, illumination LEDs. LED. Condensers, electromechanical components. Plastic and some chemical materials. And that's all for me.